This add-on will completely change the way you texture and detail in Blender. It's a one-click deal and it's really fun. In addition, you're gonna be getting 50 professional mats created by a pro artist in Substance Designer, 25 wear and tear mats, 6 pro HDRIs created by Alex Central in Keyshot, and 860 decals and 20 plus trim sheets. In total, you got 21 million permutations and combinations of all of these mats and details. It's insane and it's really fun to use. Let me show you. So now we're in Cycles, but you can also work in EV. Uh, but I want to show you one feature that only works in Cycles, and that's basically how Blender works, and that's a bevel, procedural bevel. So check this out. I'm going to press N to roll out the end panel, and we're going to be adding lighting. Normally, you would need to go to Shader Editor, add the notes, add the HDRI, you know, a lot of nonsense. None of this. Yeah, you click here, you're done. Do you know what I mean? Then you click this, you choose your HDRI, and everything is peachy. You can rotate it, you can, you know, change the strength, you can add your own HDRIs, and that's it. Your lighting is done, and you don't have to do anything else. To be honest, I haven't used notes in ages. I just use an hour add-on, and it's brilliant, right? Now, let me show you the mats. So, you get 50 mats, like I said, plus 25 wear and tear mats. So, all the mats are divided into categories. You can add your own as well, no problem. Let's go to metal and let's just add the very simple one. And now I'm gonna show you how the bevel works. So you click here and you're done. There's your bevel. So if you have complicated geo and you don't wanna clean it up and you know it's gonna mess up your shading, add procedural bevel, done. Then you can change the samples to make it a bit more defined and you can also change the width. Easy peasy, right? Awesome. So what you can do now, right? You can do a lot of things. You can change color of the mud. That's very basic, but you can do that. You can revert it back to what it was, no problem. And if you have something a bit more, you know, with a bit of texture or like pattern, you can, um, you know, you can change the scale, you can rotate it, you can change the roughness, you can change the metallic value, you can adjust all kinds of things, including flipping the normals, right? Now, a really cool feature of this add-on is this blend and UV project mode. So let me show you what it does, okay? Let's say we have a cube and we want to project this, um, you know, this texture on these bevels, like along these bevels. So what we want is for this texture kind of tile along the bevels all the way down. And you can see we got a bit of a problem here because, you know, it's, it's a bit mangled and blend mode will not really solve the problem. I'll show you how it works in a minute. So what we need to do is we need to switch to UV project. Now, in order for this to work, we need to define where the UVs or seams going to be, you know, falling. So let's mark all these edges, right? And mark them as seam. And then we're going to select everything, go to U and angle base project and boom, you're done. And then the mat tells exactly how you want it. And you can switch it back to blend on the fly. Now, how the blend works, that's amazing. Watch this, right? This is really cool. So normally when you project the mat onto a sphere, you need to project it from multiple, you know, multiple angles and you're gonna end up with this seam. You see that seam here in the middle, the nasty seam. Yeah, so watch this. I'll just use a blend slider and our triplanar projection kicks in and you can't see where the mat ends, where it begins. So depending on what mat you're using, you can play with it and it's just amazing, right? Now, another thing that's really cool and it's kind of like a hidden, you know, hidden treasure is that certain mats, depending on what maps you're gonna, you know, you're gonna have in the folder, uh, have hidden features. Like for example, this one has a mission. So if I click here, I can actually change the color of this emission and I can have some proper fun then change the color of the mat itself, right? And there you go, Disney, you know what I mean? Now, another thing you can do, for instance, with this mat is you can drop the alpha to zero and it's gonna become transparent and you got these kind of, you know, like holes in the ground, like you could build a, uh, you know, like a sci-fi path or something, it's really amazing, or a fence, right? Then other mats can be translucent, like this rubber, for example, right? If I go here and drop the alpha to 50%, you can see the mat is translucent. So, you know, you can have a lot of fun with these mats. They're really amazing. So now let me show you how the wear and tear works because this one is also cool. So you click here and you can add wear and tear to your model. Now you click on this arrow and you can expand it and you can keep stacking different effects. Now, first thing that's important to know is that you can kind of constrain this effect to an edge. So it's gonna be an edge wear or a whole model. 
just by clicking this and you got more options here so again strength normal you can flip normal as well you know you can change the color to whatever the hell you want you can make it you know blue if you want no problem and you can also stack different effects on top of it so if i click here and i can for example add rust or scratches or smudges and under each of these categories you have subcategories right so if i add rust to this uh, cube i can then go here and choose different types of rust okay or for example i can you know just drop a strength on this one and create something really cool right so you can play with these mods and design whatever the hell you want which is awesome and now let's talk about the alpha feature of this add-on the alpha update which is decals and trim sheets this one is absolutely bonkers because you're getting 860 decals which is insane and 20 trim sheets and each of the trim sheets has sub trims so watch this if i click on this cube here and press d you're gonna be able to see all the decals and you have all kinds of libraries with details floor panels you know corporate names japanese decals emissive decals you have everything okay so let's say we wanted to add some screws to our you know our cube right so you're gonna go here to screws pop a screw and there you go and by default the decal is going to inherit this mat that's landing on right so if i for example change the mat to something different you see that the outer layer of a decal is going to automatically adjust to that mat now what i can do is i can go to d and i can click on this adjust mat and i can simply switch it to this copper mat and peachy now what i can also do i can run one and tear through this copper mat and i can you know kind of uh, run it over the decal so you see because we have the same mat here on the decal the wear and tear goes through it automatically but if i'm going to change it i can always update it to the new mat it's really easy right just scroll through it and you're done fantastic on top of this you got emissive decals so decals that have emission on them and you can change this emission to whatever color you want on the fly you can also turn it off if you don't want it no problem right then if you want to for example adjust multiple decals at the same time you go here you just select all decals d and you adjust them and you're good to go if you want to rotate them no problem you can just press d and you can rotate them hold shift or hold shift and alt and you can really adjust them and fine tune them to whatever you want in addition they have a fantastic feature that allows you to shrink wrap them to a curved surface so if i move this decal in here right you can see that it's actually flat but what, what i can do is press d and shrink wrap and it's going to run shrink wrap modifiers display modifier and subdivision modifier on top of it and you can always bring it back up by pressing d clicking that and you're good to go you can move it wherever you want in addition because i'm not fucking done yet in addition this one is genius check this out you can add specific size of decals so by default it's 0.5 right let's say you have a gun and you need specific size of screws right like really tiny ones okay set it to 0.1 and check this out all the decals are gonna be coming in the same size so you don't have to resize them and eyeball them you can determine what size you want you want to revert it back no problem go here 0.5 done so that's decals in a nutshell right now let me show you trim sheets because that's bonkers okay so let me just nuke this right and i'm gonna grab a cylinder and i'll show you trim sheets so trim sheets unlike decals they are actually running on the uvs on the model okay so on the running on geometry of the model and you may want to have quads like strips of quads to run them that's the best way to do it so let's just select this uh, strip here go to d and you see a different menu now in edit mode you're gonna be seeing trim sheets in object mode you're gonna be seeing decals so you can click here and each of these trims have you know has additional layers of, of trims underneath so these are just basically previews of the whole trim sheet and here you have all the cuts so let's say you wanted to drop this one you just click you drop it you're done and if you want to adjust it no problem if you want to squash it for example you just press d go here x and you can you know, scale it you can also move it right you can move it up and down and you can also scale it in y you can also press f to flip the and kind of um change the fit of the trim sheet now if you want to change color on your on your mesh it will also update for the trim sheet so it's really cool boom done you know what i mean and if you want to add wear and tear no problem it's going to go through the trim sheet watch this boom 
so you can do the same thing and then work with decals on top of it and you know Bob your uncle and if you want to change math no problem it's going to update so there you go that's the system and let me tell you i've been working with decals for six years and i can't stand notes and if you're like me and you can't stand notes and you just want to have fun texturing and detailing this add-on was created for us we wanted this add-on because that's how we want to work we want to have fun modeling fun texturing and fun decaling and trimming because it's easy and it's really quick and you just can enjoy your life okay so that's it let's sum it up you're getting the add-on and lifetime access you're getting 50 mats and 25 edgeware mats you're getting six pro grade asia eyes you're getting 860 decals and 20 trim sheets it's insane you have 21 million combination it's nuts and it's really fun to use just like you saw me using in that video so grab the add-on and enjoy and let us know how you like it cheers